Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this rational expression x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 if x has a value of square root of 3 plus square root of 8. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this part square root of uh, this 3 plus square root of 8 and here I have copied it down and let's focus on this part inside this radical this part only and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and manipulate this part I can write this 3 as 2 plus 1 plus this square root of 8 I can write square root of 8 as a square root of 4 times 2 I can split it up square root of 4 times square root of 2 square root of 4 is same as 2 times then square root of 2 so therefore square root of 8 could be written as 2 times square root of 2 and now let's go ahead and tweak these terms this 2 could be written as square root of 2 and then whole power 2 plus this 1 could be written as 1 square and then I can write 2 times 1 times then square root of this 2 and now we can see that this represents a perfect square so therefore we are going to use this well-known formula so this could be written as square root of 2 and then plus 1 whole square now let's revert back our attention to our original this equation so let's go ahead and replace this 3 plus square root of 8 by this uh, square root of 2 plus 1 square so we can write this one as square root of then square root of 2 and then plus 1 whole square and now we can see that 2 and this square root they undo each other so that means our x value turns out to be simply square root of 2 and then plus 1 one just keep in your mind and here's our next step now we are going to find the value of 1 over x and we know our x value turns out to be square root of 2 plus 1 so therefore I can write this thing 1 divided by square root of 2 and then plus 1 and now we are going to rationalize this denominator since we got this radical so let's go ahead and multiply and divide by the conjugate the conjugate of this one is going to be square root of 2 minus 1 let's go ahead and multiply and divide by square root of 2 minus 1 let's go ahead and multiply this one time this whole thing and likewise this whole thing with this one so we got 1 over x equal to on the top that is going to give us a square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 plus 1 times square root of 2 and then minus 1 and now let's focus on the denominator part over here and here I have copied it down and we can see that this represents the product of the sum and the difference therefore we are going to use this formula so this could be written as square root of 2 and then square and then minus 1 square and this square and square root they undo each other we got 2 minus 1 square is 1 2 minus 1 is same as 1 so therefore our this equation is going to become 1 over x equals to square root of 2 and then minus 1 
divided by 1 or simply 1 over x turns out to be square root of 2 minus 1 and just keep in your mind as well and thus far we have figured out our x equals to square root of 2 plus 1 and 1 over x equal to square root of 2 minus 1 and now we are going to find the value of x plus 1 over x so we can just replace x by this one which is square root of 2 then plus 1 and then plus 1 over x is same as this one which is square root of 2 and then minus 1 and now we can see this positive 1 and negative 1 they are gone so that means our x plus 1 over x value turns out to be square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is going to make 2 times square root of 2 and here's our final step we are going to find the value of x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 and now let's recall this well-known formula a plus b power 3 and here we want to isolate this a power 3 plus b power 3 by moving this term on the other side so therefore a power 3 plus b power 3 could be written as a plus b power 3 minus 3 times a b times a plus b and if now we replace a by x and b by 1 over x then this could be written as x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 equal to x plus 1 over x whole power 3 minus 3 times x times 1 over x and then times x plus 1 over x and now we can replace this x plus 1 over x by this 2 times square root of 2 over here and likewise over here x plus 1 over x I am going to replace it 2 times square root of 2 as well so therefore x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 could be written as 2 times square root of 2 and then power 3 minus 3 times this x and 1 over x they cancel each other out times this one 2 times square root of 2 now let's focus on this very first term I have just copied it down let me go ahead and tweak it a little bit so this could be written as 2 power 3 and then I can write square root of 2 and then power 2 times square root of 2 like this way 2 power 3 is 8 this square and square root they undo each other becomes simply 2 times square root of 2 so 2 times 8 is 16 times square root of 2 so therefore I can write this one as 16 times square root of 2 minus 6 times square root of 2 so thus our x power 3 plus 1 over x power 3 value turns out to be 10 times square root of 2 so thus our final answer turns out to be a 10 times square root of 2 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye